Hello, 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 the fat boy back again with another video of part 4 of our driver career mode. In the last episode in Portimao, we DNF on the race just in lap 7 and the video was very short. And this video should be 9 minutes and 39 seconds but there's a lot of content here so we're just gonna show you the fastest lap and heading down the final chicane. Um, I don't think our timing is gonna be very good. Because again, our car doesn't have downfalls and uh, we can be fairly weak in this track. And we only get a 1 minute 20.988 and it's a back row house lockout. The Spanish Grand Prix has been a permanent fixture on the Formula One calendar for over 30 years now, and for good reason. Do you remember Michael Schumacher's absolute dominance here in that rain-soaked Grand Prix in 1996? That day he took his first ever victory for Ferrari, and we've had many more iconic moments since. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Perez, Leclerc, Lando Norris and Sainz, Ricardo, Gasly, Fernando Alonso and Sebastian Vettel. Ocon, Verstappen, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Yuki Tsunoda and Stroll, Russell, Latifi, Mick Schumacher and the Black Mamba. Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. And here come the lights. Second light, third light, fourth light, fifth light, everyone were having up their engines, it's lights out and away we go, we get quite a good getaway. Schumacher blocks us off in the middle, we have to go back to the right side. Latifi at the moment had a bad launch but he had a good getaway. And we are looking to do a dive bomb, it's three wide, now fourth wide, four wide now, Giovinazzi goes for a kamikaze, he dive bomb down the inside of turn one at the chicane. And George Russell almost locked the back, almost lost the back end and we're trying to go for a switchback but we hit our front wing on Giovinazzi's uh, rear diffuser and we go for the overtake down the outside on turn 4 on Giovinazzi but Giovinazzi has the traction and this time we go for a big dive bomb on George Russell as well uh, and he was whom who I thought was Nicholas Latifi but then I realized it was Russell so it doesn't help with the rivalry but at least we got closer to Nicholas Latifi and heading down uh, turn 9 uh, Giovinazzi has uh, already taken uh, George Russell's place and we are going for a big dive bomb here to happen. Does it work? Yes, it does. Latifi might have braked earlier than he should have because Lance Stroll was ahead of him and now we are in 15th place. And this should be a very good, very good, a very good entertaining race. Heading down lap 6 into our pit window. We're heading down the pit entry, braking at the signboard. Uh, going below 80 kilometers per hour and let's hope that our pit crew doesn't take too long just like what happened in uh, Imola again part to the slowest pit stop we've ever had so let's see what's gonna happen are you kidding me are you absolutely kidding me are you kidding me like 3.1 second pit stop they move like snails um, hello, this is the board of directors here and someone's gonna get sacked from the pit crew. We move like snails. It's such an embarrassment for the team and for the fans here in F1. Anyway, moving into lap 8. Um, lately, we've been having quite a lot of battles with Williams F1 team as Giovinazzi is gonna get undercutted by me. There he goes down the pit exit as we go past Nicolas Latifi. We are still side by side with him going through the first chicane. Turn 1, turn 2. Heading down turn 3, we are still side by side, we almost hit a side point. Wow, this is such biblical scenes, I guess I could say. Not biblical, entertaining scenes. Heading down turn 4, I just know that Latifi is going to have the traction and take a look, he blocked us off. 
And we're just gonna go for a dive bomb here down the inside of Latifi. We keep our space. But he just uh, be, but he just has the exit speed, that's all he has. He has the traction, he has the speed, he has the the lightweight chassis. Our car is just too heavy at this point of time. I shouldn't have gone with Haas. I shouldn't have gone with Haas at all. Anyway, heading down the DRS zone, we try to go around the outside. We tried to go for the switch back here, I think. But I don't know what I was thinking as we took so much curb there. Heading down into lap 10. Uh, Russell is also behind us because I took so long trying to overtake Latifi as we go for a big dive bomb around the inside. Um, and this time we make the move work. We executed the move and we delivered. Heading down lap 14 and you look at the bottom of the screen, the bottom left, there's a yellow part on the track map. And I think that's Charles Leclerc, he might have spent. He might have done the same thing as Carlos Sainz in our back markers to champions career mode. Let's get a replay on that, so... But I'm thinking it might be Ricardo or Verstappen who might have hit him, which caused him to spin. Yeah, there he is, he just, he just Binala, he just Binala. Wow, th we, need, we need to have a better angle like that. So let's go to the uh, uh, onboard camera. So let's see what happens. Oh wow. He turned his overtake mode on and the throttle input was too much. It was too early to go on the throttle. So he spent. And now going into lap 15. And here's a second wave from Williams. We're just trying to hold him off but we have too little overtake mode. And Russell just gone past us with DRS. I'm just trying to get past him, you know, trying to get that 14th place back from him. But at this point, we only have like two sectors and one lap left. Anyway, heading down turn 4, we are slow by 5 tenths of a second. Hence, hence the slow pace from the car. And moving into lap 17, Sergio Perez wins the Spanish Grand Prix. We get DRS. This is our last move. Our last opportunity. George Russell is already flashing the red light, meaning that his car has... Less than 10% of ERS and we go down the inside and he uh, has a damaged front wing due to us. The end plate is a bit uh, cheap. We try going for the switchback again. I'm just too addicted and too engrossed with the switchback. And heading down the final chicane, uh, we don't get P14 but I'm happy of getting P15 because at least we get a good position. And at least we'll bring ourselves back to the midfield. It was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Red Bull today. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves. So we finish in P15, uh, Mick Schumacher, our teammate, 18th place. And I was right, uh, in the standings, we're now up to 18th place after finishing 20th twice in Imola, uh, Portimao and uh, Bahrain. And we get most of the upgrades done, but the, insen but the, essential, the, in the essential upgrades that we're supposed to get for the next race, it's not even there and we're still last. I mean, like, it's drag, it's, the, it's to reduce drag, so it's not really that helpful, especially in Monaco. The important part is that you get downforce, not speed. But the next race after Monaco is going to be Azerbaijan, and there's a very long straight at the back, so um, this might be a blessing in disguise for us. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you made it to the end, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications in order not to miss uploads next Friday and Saturday. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.